the puppy that saved my life. He is my guardian, and it feels like he saves my life every day. All of the challenges, emotions springing forth, confusion I am trying to make sense of, I know they make my body language loud from deep inside. I keep shoving it all down to keep the burden to myself and to a minimum. But I feel it seeping out of my pores and into the expression occupying my eyes. And the very last thing that I want is for this sweet, angelic creature who loves me unconditionally to feel any of this. But I know he does. And so just the sight of him snaps me out of this ridiculous draining of emotional stress. Just seeing his face redirects my attention to what is important. He is. He reminds me how simple things truly are. We humans complicate the fun out of everything, and we need to continue aspiring to be like them, the canines. Alert, attentive, reactionary, raw, and full of in-the-moment joy. His eyes are on mine, and he really sees me as he walks over and lays against me, resting his head in my lap and placing his paw purposefully on my body. He keeps looking up at me, waiting for a sign. Now it's evening time. He's had his several clean, untainted meals today, and the marrow has been licked and sucked out of the raw bone on which he's been gnawing. No shots, no medications, just fresh living fuel made from scratch and with love every day. When we met, we had both had a rough start we were both shy and hiding from the world. It was a process of a year before we could be together. And once I was able to snatch him up, we were inseparable. I began to slowly climb out of a bottle to be a better friend to him. And he started to trust me enough to come out of his shell of resistance and fear. He showed up at the perfect time. I hope he knows how much I adore him and appreciate every moment he spends with me, as if I'm the only one on his mind and occupying his heart. Unconditional love. We have it for each other always sharing my bed. He sleeps with his body touching mine. Our long puppy makeout sessions that make me giggle like a little girl are waiting there when I get home. Even in the car, he sits next to me, gazing up at me, making sure his paws are touching me in between peaceful naps. Thank you for being here, I say as we look into each other's eyes on the couch. I love you so much. You're my man, my perfect little man. Let's go for a walk. He springs up, ready to walk me.